Hi, everybody. <laughs> I want to welcome you to a mukbang today. So, during school, I was just like, huh, I'm really hungry. Should I starve myself? Don't do that. Should I starve myself or should I eat? So, I decided to become fat. So, today, I'm going to be eating canes. So, right here, I have a Kenya combo with no coleslaw. I, I fucking hate coleslaw. If you eat coleslaw, you're fucking dead to me. Have this. Extra bread. You will get extra fries. I don't really care. Right here, I have honey mustard. Um, I have Texas toast. I know Texas toast. I fuck with the toast, okay? And then, hella hot sauce because um, I really like this hot sauce because it's very vinegary and I really like it. And to wash it down, I have a Sprite. So this is a new setup, kind of. This is my room. I collect vinyls, if you guys can't see. Um, cute, I guess. Okay. So this is also going to be a QA and a because I asked some questions on Instagram and a lot of people really responded. Yes, people responded. I didn't just write these down like some seven-year-old. Let's get started. Why are you fat? Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is just open the cane sauces because you know, I got two cane sauces. Ooh, okay. Let's open up all the sauces. I know it's kind of hard to see you guys. I'm so sorry, but whatever. I'm not really sorry. Ooh. I kind of like the honey mustard from Cane's, to be honest. It's not that bad. To me, it kind of tastes processed a little bit. Like, obviously, all honey mustard is processed, but whatever. Uh, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to make it be seen. Okay, close enough, close enough, close enough. So, let's dig in. The honey mustard right here. Mm, it's very sweet. I don't know how to explain it, but it's sweet. Obviously. That's my brother. I have family members. Shocker. Okay. We're gonna bite into the chicken next. But before we bite into the chicken, let, let's see. Let's, add, let's answer another question. What type of fag are you? <laughs> and what's your type? Um, a really hard question. I know a lot of people are probably commenting right now. Um, I said like a neutral one. I'm not like very outgoing. Like, no offense to anybody, but I don't really go around parading in like pride flags or something. I just like dressing up, like being me, I guess. Um, what is my type? Honestly, um, I have to say, like, medium ugly guys. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Um, I'd say, I don't know. I don't know how to explain, like, medium ugly people but good style kind of you know um try to use pinterest <laughs> okay let's see let's add another one. Oh, okay this is a good one what is one concert you wish was never canceled or one you would go to um one concert that I wish was never canceled. Probably Melanie's Melanie Martinez's K through twelve tour. I really wish I'd gone to that one. Um I do have one regret. I'm not going to a concert that is a Renaissance um tour by Beyonce. Regret not going to that one. How's your guys' day going? 
I want to pretend you said something. Um, am I doing okay? Bro. <clears throat> it's going worse now. But mine's honestly going okay. Not that bad. Um, while I'm filming this, it is a Wednesday. And I am in my school's Latin and Hip Hop Club. So, you know. That's the practice. Not hip hop. Not hip hop. Not hip hop. Latin and extracurricular dance club. Not hip hop. Um, but I am in the after school dance clubs. I'm gonna be performing the pep assembly. My school's pep assembly. Um, last year I was in Latin and hip hop. Not saying not that bad. Oh my god, I dropped it. <laughs> um, not that bad. The presidents were. Were they in Latin? Yeah. So oh, that was last semester. Last semester, I was in Latin and hip hop. Last year, I was just in hip hop. So yeah. Um, I'm kind of tired a little bit. Sorry. How about into the bread? Last time I got candy, it burnt my bread. Tastes bland today. What? Okay. Let's answer another one. What celebrity do you think is gay and why? Timothy Chalamet. Um, y'all can come for me. I really don't care. I know he was in that movie, but like he's such. He's such a blueprint for like the average twink. He's literally like a copy. And He's literally like a copy and paste. Um, like literally, I feel like he is like secretly gay or something. Also, somebody else. I just forgot their name. Hold on. Um. Female wise, I don't know. A lot of the female celebrities I know are like bi or pan or something. That's why I feel like um, it's kind of hard for females. Okay. Time for hot sauce. That's my own question I want to ask myself. Um, honestly, I would never guess I would be doing YouTube for fun. What the fuck? Is Sorry. They're my brother's socks. I mine too. I'm not eating. Honestly, I would never think... I never thought I would actually be wanting to be doing YouTube as a hobby. I know it is a hobby. I'm just like, you know what? Like, When I was little, yeah, of course I wanted to. But cringe. We all had, the, we all had those starting YouTube accounts. They were cringy. We know they were cringy. Honestly, like, I don't know. I just do it for fun now. Somebody at school asked me if I did the Kylie Jenner lip challenge. Because of my lips. Ooh, what the fuck? Sorry. I just have a mosquito or some shit. Okay. Let's see. Okay, this question says, what matters most to you? <sighs> I feel like there can be many ways I could interpret that question. What matters most to me? In life, honestly, connection with people. I love to be connected with people. I love to, you know, <coughs> sorry, even though I am a little antisocial, I love getting to know people. I love bonding with people. I like being social around the people I know. I like, I'm afraid of commitment. I'm deeply afraid of commitment. I feel like a lot of people are. 
I feel like I'm just, I feel like I'm just afraid of losing people. So that's why connection is really what matters to me. And conversating is a really good one. Really? <coughs> relationship wise um communication just again communication <coughs> <coughs> oh my god communication 100 percent. it's a little hot in my room because someone will turn on the ac bitch i hate my dog i don't know if you guys can hear my brother Callese! Um, so I think you guys already, I think I already said it, but I think you guys already noticed my vinyls. I love to collect vinyls. Um, I like to just have them, honestly. I, I also listen to them. This is a record player over here. You guys just can't see it. It's a really good one. I have two Melly Martinez, Billy Eilish, it's a um, Daddy Uchis. Um, oh yeah, and Lemonade by Beyonce. I'm still trying to get more. Like, this has been just a collection to distract myself. I'm not a collector collector because obviously I have this shit out. God damn it, I have this shit out. But it's my shit. I don't care. Y'all can come from here. My property. I own this shit. I buy this shit with my own money that I wasted and had no more money for fast food. I still have to get the Billy Eilish. Um, what's that one called? I forgot. Her EP, like the, the one in the yellow. I don't know if this has one for her first ever album. I don't want her. Okay, K through twelve. I have to get Crybaby, Galiucci's. Um, she had this on her store. I don't. I think it sold out. I think. Um, it's the it's her Puerto Vida vinyl. I need that one. And she made them. That's all I need. Beyonce. I need Renaissance, and I forgot which other one. Oh, I actually have a list over here. So, I need Positions by Ariana Grande. I need Moto Mami by Rosalia. Um, did you know that there's a tunnel in Ocho Boulevard? Norman fucking Rockwell, um, and Ultra Violence. Those are the ones I'm aiming for to get this year. Okay, you know, talking. Another question. Sorry, I'm looking at the my classes group chat. What's this one saying? I have horrible handwriting. Oh, when did I lose my innocence? I'm 17. In case you guys want to do me. That's just some years ago. Okay. Next one. Who is your celebrity crush? Omar Apollo. You know what I'm saying? always don't know who that is. You guys probably do. He's the guy who sings Evergreen. He don't love me no more. Oh my god, I'm spilling it. Evergreen. He controls me. Anyways, um... He's like he's like the perfect example of my type, to be honest. I also like piercings. I was arguing with his dog. Um, honestly, I like um, I like piercings. I don't know. Sorry. Okay. If you could, if you could have one thing right now, what would it be? Him. Him. The guy I'm delusional for. Like right here, maybe one day, a video, him. The guy I dream about, the guy I stalk, the guy I walk around school, the guy I look at 24-7, I need him. Yeah, I'm like right here. How do you say, enough questions, enough talking, let me just give you an ASMR.
<laughs> Where'd it go? Nobody can't do anything right. Oh my god. Can't just sponsor me. Can I lower the seat down? Perfect. My plan is to have this video not edited. Just cause you guys are getting my raw reactions. Who has the fattest ass you've ever seen? Beautiful question. Great question. Um, it's how you think it is, and not me. There's someone who has a fatter ass than me. When I went to a field trip uh, to NAU, Northern Arizona University, my tour guide had the fattest fucking ass. Oh my god. I don't know who she is. But uh, I, I forgot who I was told. But I told like one of the people in my class, I think it was one of my friends, I was like, oh my god, she's so fat ass. And she heard me because she turned around and I was like, oh my god, like, I always didn't think I'm trying to flirt with her. Like, no. Um, and like, I went up to her. And I was like, hey, I don't know if you heard me. Like, I'm sorry, but like, y'all have a really fat ass. And she was so, like, we were laughing. And she was just like, oh my God, like, thank you, you know. Um, and she was telling me, turns out, like, obviously people know. But in case you don't know, and I'm doing this right now. <clears throat> Pilates. She was telling me to do Pilates. Eat like, what's it called? Eat, eat carbs. Like, eat carbs. Um, unless you can't. Unless you can't. She was telling me to do hella Pilates like a day, like I don't know how much, or just have them in a workout. Your ass will grow so fat. Keep on my this bitch. So like, um, yeah, she has a, she has a really nice body too. Like this bitch had curves. So it kind of went like you know like, and then like me and I was like, God fucking God damn. I need I need her I need her to be my personal trainer. Let me tell you that right now. I've, I've done this so much chocolate. Let's just eat. I'm kind of getting full too. I only have two chicken fingers left and two toasts. I'm going to finish this. I have three left. This is really small. Oh, sorry. Pick it up. Pick it up. Bro. Bro. Oh. I bought hot sauce on it.
I'm getting kind of full. Three chicken, three chicken pieces left, some fries, a piece of bread, and a whole bread. I need to finish this. I want to give a shout out to this one dude at my school. He has the best fucking outfits, and he's a senior. He has the best fucking outfits at school. Jesus Christ, he eats every single time. I need to, I need to raid his closet. Okay, I see. When did you realize you were foodie? I actually get this question a lot. Um, before I answer that, sorry. You guys should actually follow my Instagram. I need more followers. Um, you guys should follow my Instagram and TikTok. I'm gonna link them down below. I would say Twitter, but I, I don't feel like you guys are ready for that yet. If you guys find my Twitter, then congratulations. No, it's not that type of Twitter, bitch. I actually tweet shit on it. I tweet my Bible verses. You guys should definitely follow my Twitter, follow my Instagram, follow my TikTok. Um, I would say Snapchat, but honestly, I don't really use Snapchat that much. I just use it to just send my snap streaks. So that's it. Like, I don't use it a lot. Um, but yeah. You guys follow my Instagram. You guys should, whenever I post on my Instagram notes or something. What the fuck? Whenever you guys, whenever I post on my Instagram notes, I'm like, ask me questions. Like, you guys should definitely go, like, answer my questions, you know? Ask me questions. Okay. So, with that question, um, I actually get a lot of questions a lot. Honestly, I try to avoid that question. Um, how did I, how did I realize? Okay, not when did I realize, how did I realize? Um, I just felt always known, to be honest. Like, I don't know, I always just felt natural for me. And, like, I wasn't bullied into it. Like, some people might have been, like, a fucking pussy. Um, I'll try to start being, um... I don't know, it's just something that always came natural to me. Like, I would always just look at the guys on TV or something. It was just really weird. I feel like my gay awakening was... Sometime. Uh, it, was, it was when I was little. It was, I think, in 20... It's like, when did Katy Perry's California Girls music video come out? That's when it, that's when it came out. Because this one um, family friend's daughter showed me that video. And that was literally my gay awakening. Like, <laughs> I wanted to be them so bad. Next question is most embarrassing moment. Um, I don't, I don't know. I tried to embrace all my moments, even if they were embarrassing or if they were bad. To be honest, because you know you are who you are. If you do shit that's cringy, you do shit that's cringy. Why does it keep on focusing and making me look bright? You always should embrace who you are in the moment. Um, stop doing that. Stop. Stop making it like. Anyways, <laughs> sorry. Um, my mom ordered something off Sheena. She's mad because it's a little big. Um, yeah, I feel like we should always embrace our moments depending on who we are. Um, but except if you do something racist or fucked up, bitch, that's on you. That's on you, bitch. Like, I feel like if you do something that's fucked up and racist and shit like that, that's on you. You did that to yourself. You know what you were doing. Um. I had another one on here. Um, oh, my most embarrassing moment. <sighs> Talking to someone. Um, Let's see. My pros and cons. <sighs> I work. I feel like that can be a pro. Um, I have money. That could be a pro. Uh, I listen to artists. That could be a pro. Cons. I get very jealous easily. I think this is a dating app. <laughs> what am I doing? I get jealous easily. Um... You get overprotective at times. Okay. Who's someone... <sighs> Who's your biggest hater? I'm my own biggest hater. I criticize my own shit, to be honest. I criticize all you hoes at school. Anybody who walks by me, I look at them. I'm going to I'm say it. I, I, I look at you. I look at you. I, I analyze your outfit. I look at who the fuck you are. I look at if I know you. If you have a good outfit, I'm going to look at you. I'm going to be like, mm, okay, good. You ate. You ate. Um, my biggest hater is this one girl I don't even care about. Who your friends last year. Girl, grow up. Grow up. Jesus. <sighs> Something unacceptable in a relationship. 
before I answer that, let's eat a little bit more. This is shadow, I guess. Uh So that's something unexpected in a relationship is asking your partner to go somewhere. I'll tell what I said. If you have to ask your partner, your boyfriend, your girlfriend for permission, you're stupid. And I know I have a lot of people. I know I know a lot of people who do that. Or wake up call, basically. Why are you doing that? don't do that you control yourself you're your own person if they have your location they have your location just tell them like check my location don't be a secure room if they've been if they've been with you for a long time and you and they still be doing that to you obviously they loyal them but fucking let them like i know i know me and my friends play around and whenever i go somewhere or when they go somewhere i'm like where are you going that's different like, I just feel bad for the people in a the relationship. They could be, they can be completely healthy. I just, in my perspective, it looks fucked up when you have to go ask someone who's not even like blood related to you. Unless you guys are blood related, then that's fucked. Um, asking for permission to go somewhere, bitch, come on, they're not your parents. They might treat you better than your parents, but they're not your parents. Mm -mm. You might not have a daddy. He might be your daddy, but bitch. Mm -mm. Not do that. Don't do that. Please don't do that. If you guys have a location together, I feel like that's enough. You know, you can tell them like, if they ask where you're going, just be like, "Oh, I'm going this way. I'm going this place. I'm going with this person." That's literally like a parent relationship. Like my mom is always asking me like, where I'm going. Obviously, you know, because she cares. Not just asking me just to be nosy. Sometimes, sometimes, sometimes. I know your parents be like that too. Um, come on, go up. It's already been thirty minutes. Down, down. I don't think I might upload this video today. Okay. Damn vegan. I'm trying. I try to finish it. I literally can't. Like I can't. I have one more left. I don't think I can finish it. I can't finish it. I literally can't finish it. I'm trying so hard. 
I'm just not used to eating so much. I might call myself a fattish and everything. I'm really not. I actually can't finish a whole Chipotle bowl. I don't know how the fuck you guys are doing it. Y'all fat. Not PH fat. Capital F A T. Fat. Oh shit, it's a good one. Oh. What is one of your dreams? In the future? I'm gonna do I'm gonna do future and present. Um sorry. Jesus Christ. Um I feel like in the future to be a model and or a clothing or a fashion designer. Um, hopefully I'm able to achieve those dreams because that's what I'm trying to do in my future. Present. Try to get a following. Maybe. Um, for someone to edit me. Do you want me? Do you want to love me like that? Sorry. I'm going to attempt to eat the last chicken. Strip, finger, chicken strip. What's the difference between chicken strip and chicken fingers? Uh oh, I, I reached my limit. I can't eat no more. I can't eat no more. I literally reached my limit. I can't swallow food. Well, I mean, at least I ate till I reached my limit. Looks like my limit is how many chicken strips, thinkers, come in a KF combo? Um, enough. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Y'all, real ones for that. Um, you guys want me to eat somewhere? Or eat something else just comment you know add me on my socials you know can i get that following um and yes stay hot love you